Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Arch with Imran. I'm Imran. I hope you guys are having a great day. And in my recent setup tour, a lot of you guys commented on how I used my Elgato Stream Deck to do custom shortcuts for Adobe Photoshop and other Adobe programs. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I did it. Let's get into it. Okay, so once you've got your Stream Deck, you're gonna plug it in and you're gonna download the Stream Deck software off the website. I'll put the link in the description. Now, when you open Stream Deck, this will be the page you're greeted with. You have a default profile, which will show up on your actual Stream Deck, and you'll have a number of options you can add on the site. Now, as, as it says in the name, Stream Deck is designed for streaming. So it has a lot of streamer orientated stuff, but it's really great for productivity as well. Now, if you click on this drop down, we can go new profile. And here we can change different pages and different layouts. So if I take you guys to the home screen, you can see my home screen. And this has shortcuts for my most used programs, as well as this plugin from YouTube that shows me how many views I have. I've also got media keys and this button here, which lets me switch to the next page. Now the Stream Deck works on a basic drag and drop. So on the side, you have all of these options of softwares and actions you can do. But if you go on more, there are also a number of user created ones in this library. So you'll see a number of different ones here. For example, I have zoom controls, which I use within my lectures. And I have things like um, Philips Hue that allow me to control my bedroom lights with this. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is how I open programs. So if we go to my home page, you can see I have my most used programs here. Things like Revit, Photoshop and InDesign. Now, if I go onto this new page, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to system and we're going to drag open. We're then going to choose the program we want it to open. So we're going to hit these three dots and it will give us an option of all the softwares we have. So if I go into Adobe Mass Collection CS6, for example, I can then open InDesign CS6. You can also rename it and you can change the text effects. But I like to, I recognize the logo, so I like to have no text at all. And now if we click on this button, it will open Adobe, simply. Okay, so now we know how to open a program from the Stream Deck. How do we set up a custom shortcut? Now, first, we're going to want to go into your Adobe program. I'm using Adobe because it's got a better range of options, but I'm sure a number of other softwares also have the option to do keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to go to Adobe. I'm actually going to hit Photoshop on this pad and you should see it popped up. OK, so here we are in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit and I'm going to choose keyboard shortcuts and then you'll get this pop up here. Now, if you guys didn't already know, Adobe software has a vast number of keyboard shortcuts to help speed up your work, but we can choose custom and we can set our own. So for example, we have free transform. Everyone knows control T to get free transform, but say you want to do perspective warp, you can create a custom shortcut to do this. So I'm going to do control shift, Control Alt Shift T. Unfortunately, that's already gone. So you'll need to keep going through and find a key that isn't used. Okay, so Control and Hash isn't used and we've set it to Perspective Warp. Now we're gonna go back into the Elgato software and assign this to one of our keys. So we're gonna hit OK because we need to make sure we do this, otherwise it won't save. Now we're going to go back to Elgato Stream Deck. Okay, so here we are back in the Elgato Stream Deck software. Now we know in Photoshop, Control and Hash does perspective warp. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign a hotkey to this. We're going to go back to our profile one and we're going to go to system and we're going to drag hotkey. Now we can title it what we want. I'm just going to put perspective. And we're going to do hotkey, click to assign, and it will now observe whatever you click on the keyboard. So we're going to do control and hash. Now this should do perspective warp in Photoshop. As you guys saw, I have custom images for all my buttons. And if you click this drop down, you can do set from file, or you can create a new icon using their online software. Now, just to note, if you're going to do custom icons, 
The size of these are 72 by 72 pixels, but I'll leave a download to a couple of the ones I've made in the description if you guys want to copy mine. <laughs> okay, so here we are back in Photoshop. I've just opened one of my recent thumbnails and what we're going to do is we're going to use this key to test it. So I'm going to hit the perspective key and you should see we have now perspective transform. Okay, so now we know how to open a program, we know how to create a hotkey, now how do we make sure the page changes based on the software we're on? Now, this one we've dedicated to have our Photoshop shortcuts on, for example, what we're going to do is we're going to click the drop down next to profile one. We're then going to go edit profile, and as you can see here, if you choose this profile, it will say Stream Deck will automatically switch to this profile when the following application is in the foreground. Now we're going to hit the drop down. Now this will show all of your open programs. So you want to make sure the program's open. We're going to choose Adobe Photoshop and we're going to hit close. And now you'll find every time I click onto Adobe Photoshop, my stream deck will change to this page and all my shortcuts will show up. Now keep in mind, the Elgato Stream Deck is not a cheap purchase, but it's really useful for productivity. For me personally, it's helped speed up my workflow massively, and that's something I'm always trying to improve. Now, I'll leave a dis link to the Stream Deck in the description so you can check it out. And if you guys follow the tutorial, please send me photos, I'd love to see. Now guys, that's all we have time for. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to hit that like. And if you guys have any video requests, as always, leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to check it out. I'll catch you guys in another video.